everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Aubrey. Today, we're gonna make some stew. It's been getting a little cold where I'm at and everyone's getting into soup mode, including myself. Soups are like my favorite soups and sandwiches. So we're gonna make a stew today. All right, let's get started. My voice just cracked. To start the stew off, we're gonna cut up some onion, celery, and garlic for, for the stew, and that's gonna be the base of it. And we're gonna cook it up, and then we're gonna add in, I got some mushrooms, and I've got some tomato product that we're gonna throw on in there, some stock, of course. Oh, and some baby potatoes we're gonna put in there as well. So, yeah, I'm totally excited for this. I love soups and sandwiches. It's like my favorite thing to eat like ever. If I ever open a restaurant, it'd be a soup and sandwich place. Fun fact. So you guys ever watch Wife Swap? I'm super addicted these past like two days. And Wife Swap like cracks me up. Like the intro is like, you're gonna change wives or change husbands. <laughs> you're gonna uh, get new kids. You're gonna get a new house. And it was just like, it's so dramatic. Like the rest of your life has changed ever since, from, from this moment forward. And I don't know. I don't know, is that even still running? Because these like are really old episodes, I could tell, but I don't even know if it's still on, but comment down below if you watch Wife Swap, if you like Wife Swap too. <laughs> now normally, you, I'm always saying like, I gotta cut everything small, everything small. You know, I don't like big chunks of anything. Well, I'm going to break my rule today. Today, I'm gonna do big chunks because I'm, I'm gonna put like, baby carrots in there, whole baby potatoes. So like it is going to be larger. So this is like one of the very few things that I, I don't follow that, that rule with. I don't know why. I think it's just cause I grew up with it that way. So I'm just kind of like stuck on it. Um, you can do small, small pieces as well if you'd like. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom Alright, so we have all of our veggies cut here The celery, the garlic Carrots and onions Yeah, I don't know why I forgot what that was So I have a pot preheating on the stove right over there. So we're gonna go ahead and start cooking this up. It's time for that goodness to start rolling in. So this pan is preheating preheating on medium heat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add all the veggies in. Oh, I love that sound, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and give it a stir. And then we're gonna add some salt. That garlic smells so good. We're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of salt. Give it a stir. And I'm going to cook this a little bit faster than what I normally would. So normally I cook veggies on a, on a low heat and I get them all nice and like, like broken down and like melted and it's really nice. But problem, that's not gonna work in this dish because we we don't want the uh, vegetables to be completely mushy because we're gonna brown them now, we're gonna add in the meat, we're gonna brown the meat and we're gonna add tomato product as well. So I'm actually gonna add the tomato product now and, um, and then it's gonna cook for a while just simmering. So 
because it's gonna simmer for a long time and we're gonna eat it all, we don't want it like the like vegetables to just be completely mushy. The veggies I'm cooking for about five minutes on medium heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add in petite diced tomatoes with garlic and olive oil. And I'm also going to add in tomato paste as well. And this is gonna add a lot of good flavor to the base of the stew. So I'm just gonna give this a stir and then I'm gonna turn the heat up to high heat. And once this starts browning up, we're gonna go ahead and add in the beef. Okay, so while the veggies are cooking back there, we're gonna go ahead and dry off the meat. So this is just two pounds of certified Angus beef, beef stew meat. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't know what the fuck beef stew meat means, but I'm just gonna do two pounds of that. And then the reason we're drying it off normally is so that it doesn't stick to like the pan or the pot, but in this case that's really not the problem, but I still like to just dry my meat off. This part isn't totally necessary if you don't wanna do it. This is just something I do every single time, even though it doesn't really apply to this this time. And then I think the veggies are almost done uh, cooking over there. So as soon as it's done, we're gonna add this in and we're gonna add the mushrooms in as well. Okay, so it's been a little over 10 minutes. I've stirred this a few times. So this is looking pretty good now. It's starting to brown up nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the meat and the and the mushrooms. These are just some sliced white mushrooms that I was just like, oh, well, I really don't feel like doing a lot of cutting today, so that's why I grabbed those. And then the meat. Go ahead and stir this up. Oh, this looks good. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt, so we're gonna add in a half tablespoon of salt. All right, now we're gonna cook this on a high heat um, and let it brown up a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of the ingredients. So for the herbs, I'm lazy. Like I said, I don't feel like doing a lot of cutting today. So I'm just gonna put them in a cheesecloth. That way I don't have to worry about cutting them up. So it's super easy. You're just gonna cut, I don't know, probably a foot and a half long of cheesecloth here-ish, something like that. Anyway, so I just have like your basic just package of a poultry brown herb. It's always sage, rosemary, and thyme. You can find this blend literally just about anywhere. It's really common. So I'm just going to fold these sides over like this and then like this. And then I have a piece of twine here. And I'm just going to use the twine to go ahead and wrap it up. And then when we add in the stock, we're going to put this in there. And now I don't have to worry about cutting up any herbs. All right. And then we'll just at the end just take it out and throw it away. I'm just gonna cut off the excess twine. And fun fact, this is called a sachet. Sachet, sachet, sachet. <laughs> okay, so for the stock, we're gonna use bone broth. I've talked about this before. Technically, all stock, as long as it's not a vegetable stock, is like bone broth because you make stock with bones when you properly make it. Okay, but in the stores, typically the higher quality stock is going to be labeled as bone broth. Now this is beef bone broth and the reason why I want to use something higher quality is because you know this is going to be a huge main ingredient in the dish. So sometimes I use better than bouillon uh, like that paste but for this we're going to stick with the bone broth. Yeah. Also you guys um, seem to really like the munchie videos which is awesome. I'm going to keep doing more of those. I'm going to mix those in with the videos that I normally do um, and let me know you know if you have any recipe ideas that you really love um, you know maybe I'll pick uh, out a couple that sound really good and feature that and give you a shout out I don't know what do you guys think I've never done anything like that before maybe you guys don't want it I don't know let me know if you want it because I'm down to do that you know like I'll, I'll just pick a couple of your guys ideas that I really like all right so now this has been going for about 10, 15 minutes. So what we're doing, we're just building layers of flavor as, as we're doing this, okay? Now it's ready. We're gonna add in some butter and some flour, and that's gonna be like a roux. And the reason we're gonna do that is so it's to thicken up the stew a little bit. So the potatoes are gonna play a part in thickening 
the soup or the stew rather because uh, potatoes have starch in it so it's gonna oh my god I just realized I have my TV playing in the background I'm sorry guys <laughs> we're going to add in the the flour to, to help thicken it a little bit more but both the potatoes because of the starch and the flour will thicken the stew up. Okay, the butter is almost done melted. I'm gonna add in the flour. It's a cup of flour and a half a stick of butter. And we're gonna just let this cook for a couple minutes before we add in the stock and the herbs. And we are almost finished, guys. Once this is all done, like all mixed together, we just gotta let it simmer and just reap the benefits. So this has been going for five minutes. With, I've stirred it a couple times. It's really starting to brown on the bottom now. Oh, it's almost burnt, but it's, I promise you it's not burnt. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the stock. All right. So. We've got the stock added in. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the potatoes. They're just little baby potatoes. Mix that around a little bit. Ooh, it's gonna be delish. So we're gonna cook this through until the potatoes are done and the meat is nice and soft. Um, we're gonna add in that sachet. I'm gonna turn this down to a medium low heat and I'm gonna put a lid on it. We're gonna let this cook covered uh, until everything's all done. I almost forgot, I wanna add in another half tablespoon of salt and then let that simmer. I'm also going to warm up some bread. I've got some ciabatta here. It's everything ciabatta, it has the uh, everything seasoning on here. I got this, of course, from Fresh Time. I love having bread with my stew and I love the everything seasoning. I never had everything ciabatta bread. This is my first time seeing it, but I know it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna warm this up um, so for when I'm eating it with my stew. Okay, it's been a little over an hour and this is done. So I'm going to take this sachet out and get rid of it. Ooh. All right, so it's done because the potatoes are fork tender and so is the meat, okay? So now, I'm go ahead and just give it a last final stir. I've been stirring every 10 minutes to, you know, get the bottom of the pot because the bottom of the pot does form like a little layer as it's cooking. This looks so good. Literally, look how magical this is. This is so perfect. We appreciate this stew. The consistency is literally perfect. Um, if you like yours a little thicker, of course, make it thicker or thinner. You just add more or less of flour and butter, and that's going to be the consistency of it, okay? Okay, oh my gosh, guys, I'm super excited for this. I've got the stew here with some sour cream and a little bit of parsley, and then I toasted and buttered the, the ciabatta bread. Let's give this a try. That is so freaking rich. It is so good. Oh my gosh, let's get some of this potato. Ooh, yeah. Everything is so tender. Oh my God, it's hot. It's really hot. It's good though. Very, very good. Oh my gosh, so, so this is literally delicious. This is literally just like your classic stew. Um, I know some of you will probably wanna know if you can make this in a crock pot or not. You can, um, but you're not gonna get the same depth of flavor as this because we built up the fla uh, layers of flavor as we were cooking it. We, just throw, we didn't just throw everything together at once. We did a like caramelization and stuff to add more uh, flavor to it. So you can, but um, it just won't be like as rich and as flavorful as this outcome would be using the stovetop method. Guys, this is so good. I'm gonna dip. This It's like this, this broth is just so rich. It takes me back to being a kid. My mom always did crack like a roast in a crock pot all the time. So it's like this, so it's like, that's how I ate it growing up, but I like this way better. Good both ways. All right, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys and um, see you guys next time. Oh, look at this humidity. It is literally killing my hair. Okay, love it. Bye guys.